I had a customer who wanted a cake for her 20 year old niece. Oh, what a cute little cake. Now, I'm gonna make one similar. Did you watch that shorts I made a few days ago? If not, go back and watch it, it's pretty cute. Starting with a cardboard base, I'm going to put some buttercream right down on there. For those of you who are curious, this is a tabletop pottery wheel. I love stacking and icing on it. Put that vanilla cake and put some more vanilla buttercream on the inside. Stack it up and pat it down so it sticks nice and firm. And once I've got those four layers of cake and three layers of filling, I'll do a crumb coat. This is just a thin coat of icing that helps the crumbs stick to the cake. After I put the crumb coat on, I'll stick it in the fridge. About 30 minutes later, I take it out of the fridge and put a thick layer of beautiful light pink buttercream. I really don't do cake for customers very often, but sometimes I get friends and family who need one, and I'm happy to bake a real cake for them. Smooth it out with my spatula. And since it's a white cake, I'm gonna use my bench scraper here on the top a little bit. And then smooth out the sides. Oh, there is a gap at the top. You fill that in with a little icing. There we go, and smooth it out one more time. Then I'll use this little corner tool to make it nice and smooth. It's just a piece of mylar folder that I've cut out. I do have a tutorial if you'd like to see that. The first piping tip I'm going to use is a T05. It is a large star tip. You can see my icing is slightly darker pink, but not a bright pink. I'll put those big shells all around the base. Moving to my next tip, R80. It's kind of like a ruffle tip. I've only used this once before. It makes beautiful ruffles, but I find that it's kind of hard to use. It's like it doesn't come out the tip very well, but the ruffle end is beautiful, so it's a good thing I'm going to be piping over that top part. To pipe over it, I use a number 32 tip, and it is a very small serrated star tip. This is one of my favorite tips to decorate with. I love the pattern it creates. Maybe one of these days I'll do an entire cake with this style of tip only, in different sizes of course. That would be fun. What do you think? I got those three layers down below and I'm marking the cake where I want to make these ruffle swags. Again, using this unique ruffle tip. Oh, I am not doing that very well. I'm not sure what happened here. Either I kicked the camera or my son kicked the camera, but uh, this is the next footage. Sorry you missed the rest of those ruffles. Switching back to the number 32 tip, I'm outlining the top of those ruffles. When the customer came to pick up this cake, she was just thrilled and amazed at how beautiful it was. In fact, when she asked me to do the cake, she said, do what I do best. And of course, I love piping, so I did a piped cake. So I have a tilt and turn cake table. I'm tipping it a little bit so these strings will lay more nicely as I pipe them. Buttercream strings are a little harder than royal icing, but I'm going to try to get them as smooth as possible anyway. I'm doing two layers. Oh. 
That one did not work out. I'm using my paintbrush to fix it just a little bit. Then moving to a smaller star tip, number 18. I'm going to create a few little shells here. I don't know what that's called, a little fleur de lis. Fleur de lis are a little more elaborate. Pipe a few of those around the cake. switching to a large serrated tip. Oh, see what I mean? I love that design. Having nice big shells up here on top. So for these little scrolls around the edge, I'm using a number 21 star tip. I'll pipe one going clockwise and one going counterclockwise. And sometimes I get confused at which one I'm supposed to be doing next. Guess I need to practice that stroke a little more. Makes a cute little design though, right? What do you think so far? Is it comparable to the one that you saw in the shorts? Let's do another round of shells using a number 21 tip. Adding one more layer of shells with an even smaller tip. I believe this is a number 14 star tip. I love the look of that dark pink, light pink, and then white all up against each other. Boop, one little star right there. Now I'm gonna write some happy birthday. A little heart above the eye. Thank you to Minty Cakes for this inspiration. I was so excited to try her little design. Hopefully I'll be able to try another one of hers in the future. And if you like the look of pink cakes or vintage cakes or pink vintage cakes, click on this video that's on the screen right here. And as always, thanks for watching. Bye.